only sessions. We kind of dry and she buy shallow bomb. Let's get it going and enjoy a great uh, read through Proverbs and got to get it again like it's the first time that we've been talking about our ma. You know, we talk a lot about mama. You know, I think I speak so much, you know, speak so highly about my mama. Because one, you know, that's some good home training, you know. <laughs> Love to the bro, Kwame. man. I am my mama's son. <laughs> hey, man, you know, it feels good to be my mama's son. Get some of that Amaz cooking around here, man. You know, if you don't, if you don't enjoy Big Mama, man, what Big Mama cook up for us, like, that's something to speak highly of. You know, that's what Solomon's praying for, for wisdom and discernment, understanding. Wisdom says, I am understanding. I am that. <laughs> All that stuff you think you got is me. That breath, not just the physical breath, but the understanding itself, the understanding itself. Mama is the ability to connect the dots, man. You don't get no realer <laughs> than connection, you know what I'm saying? And this is what our father, you know, connects with from the very beginning. You never have a masculine principle all by itself, you know, that's Christianity. But yet they talk wisdom, talk and read Proverbs all the time, right? <laughs> And they just think wisdom is just something that's with the Holy Spirit. But they never say mama. They never claim mama. They treat it like a third party. They put JC on the right hand. Well, where is mama? I'm sorry. JC's on the right hand of our father? He's all by himself? He ain't got no woman. He ain't got mama. Your father ain't got no, no mom. <laughs> he ain't got mom. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Your father ain't got big mama? I need you to think about this, man. Think about it real hard. We're not adding anything to our shaper. We are acknowledging big mama. Not just our earthly mother. <laughs> your spirit that you gave to someone else, you gave to JC, you gave that to Yahweh Shah. That's the spirit. Yahweh Shah is there from the beginning. Yahweh Shah. That's your mama. They're trying to put Yahweh Shah in the shoes of Big Mama, who's at the right hand next to Big Daddy. And this wisdom gives you the ability to discern and connect as the Maya Papuva would say the frame and shape of the framer you know is the ingredients is the ingredients <laughs> doesn't just give you the ingredients but mama is that reasoning mama is that discernment that so called understanding your smarts your wits your wisdom is mama You want to excuse her from the table? Mama's already there. You want to talk about adding anything to our shaper, to our hawa, to our security? The only thing that we need to acknowledge is that with that security comes revelation. And in the Hebrew, in the fifth letter, is the ha or hey. And that ha is <gasps> Revelation, that breath, that revelation, that's that wisdom, that's that discernment, understanding. That's your mama, man. You looking at the Paleo Hebrew alphabet, you got the Aleph or L, the strong power that goes into the Ba'at, the house. The third letter is the Gam, like Gemel. <laughs> and that Gam is a foot. It literally is walking like a camel. <laughs> and that movement 
happen because that strong power entered that that house, which is a, a floor plan. See, Drop Nation is already a floor plan. Before we even knew what we were or are, there's already a plan for this. Everybody that steps up and <clears throat> all my noggins surfing the wave, you are already a part of the floor plan. All my noggins listening right now, you are already a part of the floor plan because you hear that sound. That sound is your shaper with his word. Your father is the sound, the vibe. Now, you want to catch a vibe, you got to be framed and you got to be shaped. You're in the frequency, you're in the shape. The energy is the security. That's what secures you. That's why when you keep the code, you have a security. You have a field of security. Knowing that the energy is rocking with you, the energy of Hawa, the whole earth, but it's not just your earthly mother that you give acknowledgement to. It's mama, you know what I'm saying? You can't just relegate mama to the earth, even though with wisdom, Bada Sheath, Hawa, with mama, created the earth. So when you talk creator, you're talking a framer and shaper. And this is that plural when they say they in their image because our sisters, see our aquas, they're in the image of Ama. They're not in the image of no man, Manaka. <laughs> that shape, that that flow, that wow. vibration of that aqua, that's the image of Ama. And my Akis, we in the image of Aba, you feel me? That's frequency. It's masculine and feminine. You ain't got no masculine without a feminine. You ain't got no feminine without the masculine. Now when you're just talking about the full fullness of energy, frequency, and vibration, that polarity, my life. You don't have one without the other. But in Christianity, they ripped her apart. They ripped mama out. They gave us a God, a masculine God, by himself walking to and fro on the firmament, all by himself, with no one to please him. Mama says she pleases our father. But I'm going to let her speak for herself because ain't too many places you're going to find a power of frequency speaking for themselves. I ain't talking about, you know, Psalms and David, you know, crying out and writing it down of the authors of Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and John, my night. I'm talking about a power, an energy, an entity that's letting you know she is one <laughs> with our Father, with our Abba. There is no separation. And, you know, this just goes out for more clarity so that we see that there's a, se a separation between you know, um, putting a power, <laughs> you know, some some energy, you know, someone's telling you about. And then you put that next to the creator. You put that before the creator. You ignore your Abba and you're ignoring your Ama because you're probably calling on some Atlantean mama, some celestial mama who's taking the place of big mama who actually created the earth. The Papuva will say the God of the blue sky, the God of the sky and the God of the earth, or the creator of the blue sky and the creator of the, of the blue earth, the green the green earth and the blue sky, frame and shaper. And then we reference that in the script where Hawaii's talking about beating out and metting out the firmament with his right hand, Rakwa, I beat it out, the expanse of the sky, the heavens, Shamayim, I pulled him like a curtain, like a curtain. I pulled the heavens like a tent, my night. That's a creator of a blue sky. <laughs> and you got mama, which they call mother earth, earthly mother. But you're talking about your wisdom, your discernment. It's not just relegated to the earth, my night. It's your frequency. It's the ingredients. To put a fine meal together. Ama has the ingredients, man. This is the this is the wisdom, right? This is the wits. 
this is the set set what they call subtility <laughs> subtlety you know what i'm saying in all the novels we read the subtle nature of such and such this subtle is the intelligence you know it's all these things you know to be wise as a dragon where this wisdom coming from <laughs> you're talking about big mama dragon and big papa dragon you know what i'm saying but just check on uh, Psalms 18 so you can see that smoke is coming out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth. He's devouring, flying on the wings of the wind. <laughs> Amen. We're just surfing the wave, man, to knock on session. Hawa! Shabbat Shalom! Dawada, hawa. Another checkpoint. We did it again. Hey, hop. All my nagas representing for Joy World, my naga. Joy World, my naga. My nagas is showing up. My 500 code keepers. My code keeping nagas, man. You feel the frequency. I know you know how important this is. You know how important this is to build our fence. To see a tribe building a fence. I was just talking to my aunt, Yosef the Real, and it's like, hey, shout out to CJ Battle and shout out to Five Eyes Mob, man. We was having the same conversation. I've never witnessed a tribe building a fence. You know what I'm saying? I know families build fences and people build fences every day. But I just never witnessed a tribe driving up KTC for Hawaii. Building the fence as a group project, you know, as something that they know is going to, you know, stand and be sturdy for the next generations, for the droplets, so they can say, man, my pops, my mama, my auntie, my grandmama, you know, <laughs> my grandpa, man, he, he built this fence, man, with his hands, him and a tribe. So we can enjoy it now in the present in the present day as a wall of security. Allow why? So my co-keepers is showing up. We are making uh, great strides towards our goal. We got a long way to go after Shabbat. Holla at us, my nigga. You know, check in and, you know, thank you. Please continue to do what you do. We appreciate you, man. Um, what we're doing ain't ain't crazy and it's not that familiar it's kind of like it's not crazy to build a fence on your land and to build a land <laughs> we've done it before time time again but it's not familiar because we don't get to witness this type of activity in this particular frequency you can't duplicate you can't duplicate us the way it came about you know it wasn't like that was the play that was the plan it was like oh you know <laughs> It just came together, man. You know, the ingredients back to Amaz. So, allow a while. Let's get it popping, man. Proverbs chapter 8. Let's let mama speak for herself because you ain't going to find no other energy truly rocking, you know, with their words coming straight out the Tanakh in her own words. You know, this ain't David praying about, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, a while coming to rescue him. You know, nah, this is, this is your framer. This is mama, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I love getting this again and again. And, you know, I love that wisdom of Solomon as well. Well, let's surf the wave, man, and just enjoy this flow. Does not wisdom call and understanding put forth her voice? So what's it telling you right here? Understanding is a female or not. Let's just sit on this for a second. I mean, that's all we really need. We're out of here, babe. <laughs> We're out of here, babe. That's it, man. <laughs> Body bag for the illusion. So you keep putting this masculine print, this masculine energy on a feminine, on a female, on mama. Because you feel like you can't give it up to no one but your father. <laughs> but your mama was literally sparked you know within however look we don't know we don't know how that spark happened you know you know uh we read here you know that mama says that she was 
if not the first thing created by our father, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, one of the first things, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, did it happen that way? Has it been translated that way? That the father created the mother, you know, all this. So we can't assume all this stuff. We, we're looking at it with a dragonfly perspective. All we know is that mama got a voice. Mama speaking for herself. And here it says, understanding puts forth her voice. So if you want to understand anything, my naga, you're going to ask her for her voice. But Solomon, you know, I think was doing it correct. Wow. He was going to his father to ask for her voice. <laughs> to ask for mama. He said, respect, res you know, it's, it's all order in any house, you know, respect pops. I need mama, I, I need mama's hand on this one. I need to fortify Israel. I need wisdom. You might get that for the dismount. How King Solomon, you know, was digging on it, man. Um, he's asking for her, not some other foreign god that you're adding into some pantheon. No son of this, son of that. I'm talking about mama. Oh, drop. Don't add this foreign god <laughs> with our father. What? Hey, you breathing, ain't you? Is you breathing? Is that air you breathing, my naga? Is that air you breathing? It's mama that you breathing. You want to talk creation? Well, let's talk creation. You want to talk creator? You want to talk they and their? That just doesn't refer to some super Olympic, Olympian pantheon. That's just... You know, referring to the framer and the shaper. Ama, Abba. They, there. That's the hint that we're talking about a framer and a shaper. Papu Va. The most frequently mentioned powers when they came to America was the framer and the shaper. The Mayan Papu Va. Get it in the drop library for free. Managa password is one, two, three, four. We just popping off because they just tuning in. Wow. Loud wow. Hey, without wow. Man, I'd be lost in the sauce, man. We'd be lost in the sauce without our creator, without our framing and shaping to put this plan together. This ain't information, my noggin. You don't feel no information right now. You don't feel no information right now. You feel vibration right now, my God. Wow. I'm feeling good, man. We've been through a lot, you know. Shit, we've been through a lot. But when you get to that 15th round, if you're anything like me, boy, boy, man, I get a spark, man. I can't believe, man, you done messed up, man. You let me get this far, man. You let us get this far, this frequency continues. This frequency continues through our droplets, man. Like I was telling the ox, we didn't have a wall of protection growing up. We were out of cold. This generation, these droplets are the first to grow up with a wall of protection. They're not researching to figure themselves out. They know who they are. They know they are the copper color of Maru Khan, that they are indigenous to this land, that they are the originals. They know, my knock. We didn't know, man. We're searching. They know. And that's a whole nother frequency. Wow. Allow wow. Hey, don't mind me, man. I'm just, uh, just popping off. Does not wisdom call and understanding put forth her voice in the top of high places by the way where the paths meet? She stands. 
beside the gates at the entry of the city at the coming in at the doors she cries aloud unto you O men I call this ain't your father speaking will she get some type of pass why she get to speak my name and that's insulting why does mama get a voice you want to tell that to mama's face ask her why she gets a voice you want to tell mama that I buy is all alone and don't got nobody helping <laughs> ain't, ain't got nobody putting these ingredients together cooking this fine meal up for the noggins you want to tell that to mama's face And you must not want no breath. You know, Hawa means existence, to exist. <laughs> Our breath of security is existence, Khan. But you ain't got no security if you ain't got no breath. And what good is breath without security? <laughs> you need a wall of protection. You need Hawa. Beside the gate, Proverbs 8, verse 3. Beside the gate at the entry of the city, at the coming in at the doors, she cries aloud, Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. Better listen, Big Mama's calling. Oh, you thoughtless. <laughs> Y'all must not have no, you know what it means to be thoughtless? You must not, you must not got no thoughts, my dog. Who's mama speaking to right now? Let's take it slow. Because there ain't no time. It's only the wave. And who y'all think mama's speaking to right now? Who's she calling thoughtless? Who ain't got no thoughts? You must not got no thoughts if you ain't thinking of mama. I'm just saying. Only mama could call you thoughtless, man. Because you're like, I'm not in your thoughts. Your mama ain't in your thoughts. Boy, you must be thoughtless. <laughs> now go over here and get this work. And don't know what got work like Big Mama. You see, Pops, man, you know, Pops will put it down in the worst of ways, you know what I'm saying? But Mama make you feel bad Why you getting destroyed, you know what I'm saying? Like, Mama, Mama take your ability to connect things. Normally, Mama gonna take up for you, even when Papa, you know, might be disciplining. Mama's going to help you out a little bit. You know, Mama was helping David out. You know, hey, man, I know you're getting that work. Let me try to connect some things. Let me try to give you a strong team, you know, to help you get through this stuff. <laughs> but, you know, uh, you know, Papa know, Papa know, like, secretly down on the inside, Abba does like when Mama helps you. You know, like, even when he's mad, he enjoys the fact that he knows you're not going to be totally destroyed because mama's going to come help you. You know what I'm saying? But when mama's mad and when you, you know, cross the line with big mama, ain't nothing your father could even do to try to help. You know, she going to give him that look and he's like, hey, <laughs> you're on your own, buddy. You're on your own, Jack. I hope you get through this. But if you don't, man. That's your ass, man. You know what I'm saying? Big Mama, do not get on the wrong side of Big Mama. Big Mama will help you all day long, give you everything you need. But you better be respectful, man. You want wisdom? You want understanding? Unto you, old man, I call. And my voice is to the sons of men. Oh, you thoughtless, understand prudence. And you fools, be you of an understanding heart. Here, for I will speak excellent wow. things. Who's speaking? Big Mama is speaking. <gasps> is speaking. 
and the opening of my lips shall be right things, for my mouth shall utter truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness, and there is nothing perverse or crooked in them. They are all plain to him that understands and right to them that find knowledge. Receive my instruction and not silver. And today, some noggers are so hijacking the Christianity, you know, um, lonely male, male father God, you know, no sign of mama. Holy Spirit, check. Mama, who knows, man? Oh, she's just Mother Earth. She's the earthly mother. Damn. Mama says, receive my instruction. If you told that to a Naga today, you say, I got to receive my mother's instruction. He'll say, but what about the father? What are you doing, man? You trying to put a mother next to the father? But drop. We're supposed to be KTC. No power before our power. In order, your mama gives you instructions. Con. <laughs> Hit the easy button, bread. It's that simple. No cap on our number two pencil. Your mama ain't giving you instructions outside of order. She just said anything perverse can't even, you know, reach her tongue, reach her mouth. Which means she must be one with your Abba. If she cannot, what did she say? All the words of my mouth, verse 8, are in righteousness. If all the words of mama's mouth are righteous, how can she be anything other than one with the shaper, with your father? Because your father is the vibration of righteousness and all the words of her mouth are in righteousness. And when you are in code, you too are one with your framer and shaper. You are one with your creator. Because they are one. This is what they try to weave JC in with Christianity and you know what I'm saying the crystallites with their Yahweh this son business they can't really talk mama because they can't really big up mama without taking away from this fake energy this hijacked city that they're giving the son all these titles and qualities from David and mama like this this son is hijacking every damn thing even the creator personally even the father <laughs> because now he is the father I hear people all the day saying oh man hey praise JC hey man I'm grateful to JC people getting acceptance speeches winning Grammys hey thank JC no one's even thinking about a why no one's thinking about the creator mama said receive my instruction Mama said, my mouth, all the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing perverse or crooked in them. They are all plain to him that understands and right. What does it mean to be plain? It means you can hit the easy button, bread. It's that simple. Aqua, you can hit the easy button because these words are plain. When someone's KTC, when someone's one with Hawa, it is not confusing. If you come over here and you get confusion out of anything, hey man, I guess it's just not plain enough. We got to get better at the simplicity of things. I'm not over here saying a bunch of fancy stuff out of a bunch of fancy books, man. Nah, man, I'm all about the simplicity of keeping the code. Exodus 20. One of my Nagas emailed me. They said, all right, so basically Exodus 20, like that's that's how you start in things. You know, that's how you formulate. You know, what about the other codes? And I'm like, keep all these codes. Go go crazy, man. Keep all the codes. No one's telling you not to keep 
the word of Hawaii in order. You didn't get those other things until after your exodus, though. Just remember that. And right now you're focusing on that point, making an exodus. To pop that off, you got to pop off with the most important details that got you put in captivity, that got you on the wrong side of Ama and Abba. And that's number one. You put a power before your power called another mama mama and another Abba Abba. Called another daddy daddy man to this day in the church, in the mosque, and all these things, man. We ain't calling on the actual framer and shaper. We're calling on duplications. We're calling on synthetics, man. They got you hijacked in a loop in Hijack City, breaking the code. That's our issue to this day. Don't tell me about no other codes and commandments if you can't get this straight. Don't come to Hawaii asking for no sacrifices and none of that feast days and none of this stuff. If you can't get that simple thing right, you want to talk about fringes and beards? Get out of my face, bro, because you ain't even getting this simple thing right. And I believe if we get that piece right, then we'll be all right, because we going to be all right. Anaga, we going to be all right. Let's get the rest of this in Proverbs 8. Cause I'm feeling great, man. Verse 9, they are all plain to him that understands, understands, and write to them that find knowledge. You finding some drop? You finding some knowledge? Receive my instruction, mama says. That doesn't mean don't receive your father's instruction, but you got to know that her instruction is coming straight from your father because all her words are in righteousness. You see the stories, the picture getting plainer? Is it getting simpler? Can you explain it to a child? Mama, daddy, framer, shaper. But let's go. What does she say? For wisdom is better than rubies. Before that, in verse 10, receive my instruction and not silver and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom, verse 11, is better than rubies and all things desirable are not to be compared unto her. All things desirable cannot compare to mama. So where does she stack with our framer? What our our, uh, our father? Where does she stack up next to Abba? Because you can't compare nothing else in creation. <laughs> you can't compare nothing else. All the works of our father, according to Proverbs 8, you can't compare no other work. It is one. This is a piece of him. You know what I'm saying? This is a oneness. Similar to the Adam and Eve and coming out the, the rib flow, you know. It feels like Ama literally, you know, is coming out the rib bone, you know what I'm saying? Or, or popping out the same you know, uh, initial pop-offness is all we can say. I mean, we don't know. We don't know how the framer and the shaper were created and if they were created and who and what and where. Johannes would be breaking it down. Yeah, what we don't know, we don't know. It's not about assuming. It's not about getting into a doctrine, a religion. We're talking about energy, frequency, and vibration that, to me, always exists. But what does that mean? Wow. I mean, what has no beginning? That's beyond comprehension, right? So we're, we're searching for a reason. But all things, <coughs> Shalak, all things are not to be compared unto her. I, wisdom, Ama, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of devices. The fear of your father, because <laughs> it says Lord, but we know that's just Heya or Hawa, which is your framer and shaper breath and secure so if mama's talking about your father it was, we'll put it plainly the fear of your father is to hate evil love to my jig and five eyes ma I got a great song out called curse evil <laughs> you gotta hate evil that's that's the fear that's the respect of your father pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. 
Counsel is mine. Your mama speaking. My naga, listen up. She said, counsel is mine. That's why Solomon is praying about her. How can I have a wise counsel? What does it mean to be in a story? That you have a wise counsel. But that means you got Ama. And whoever them Aquas and Ox are, that's a part of your personal counsel, my Nagas. Whoever you are, everyone should have a counsel, you know, people that they go to. I, I certainly got mine, man, you know, and I know that all of them is flowing with Ama. I can see it in their eyes. I can, I can feel it in their vibe, in their voice. You know, you recognize mama in other people, you know, so, you know, you can recognize that frequency. She said, counsel is mine and sound wisdom. Then she says, I am understanding. Whoa. Whoa. So when we get that script about Solomon praying for her, for understanding, he doesn't say, I'm asking for mama. I'm asking for her. But now we know she's telling you, I am understanding. I'm who he's praying for. He's asking his father, his Abba, for me. That's deep. Wow. You know, he had to be given that. He had to be given that. Mama's a gift. You know, it's not just about asking mama for help. Your father has to grant you that. Like, that's something, the most treasured, you know, aspect of the frequency, man. So, you you want me to give some of this up? You know, I got to have that real a high for you. You got to come humble. Everybody that think they got wisdom, do not got wisdom. No way they can have wisdom when they don't even keep the code. Mama says these are her ways. Receive my instruction. You telling me they just blatantly ain't listening, but they still are wise people? Because they're universal cosmic people? I think they're in a universal cosmic poo sandwich. And a poo sandwich is a poo sandwich. I'm talking mama. I'm big up in mama. You got a problem with that? Then get out the house. You come in our house, you're going to respect mama. You ain't just going to jump over mama and talk about father, father, father. That's disrespectful. Because you wouldn't be connecting not a one thing if you didn't have no understanding, right? If you had no wisdom, come. Huh? So don't try to overlook mama and acting like we're adding a deity <laughs> to, to our father. This is mama that already exists. Is your breath that you have to ask Hawa for the treasure of the presence of wisdom of Amma that Shekinah flow the respect of Hawa is to hate evil pride and arrogancy and the evil way in the forward mouth do I hate counsel is mine and sound wisdom I am understanding Power is mine. Uh-oh. Whoa. Don't JC talk about in Matthew such and such, in Matthew 28, all power's been given to me? Yeah, he say that, don't he? Yeah, all power's been given to me. Go make disciples. He got the power, really? Mama say, Proverbs 8, I am understanding. Power is mine. How can he have anything without having no understanding? He's borrowing from mama. What came first? JC, Yahawashai, or wisdom? With wisdom by the sheath, I created this world. By me, kings reign, verse 15, and princes decree decree justice by me king's reign that doesn't mean that 
that's without the father, my nigga. It just means you better acknowledge the fact that <laughs> without mama, you don't have no kingdom. You ain't got no, no breath. You ain't got no revelation. No understanding. But you want to ignore mama, skip over mama and just talk ruah. Skip over mama and talk your house shot. And I bring up mama and now we're adding something <laughs> to our father. Mama speaks for herself. We don't even have to say nothing. We just let mama talk. You got an issue with mama being, <laughs> with mama being mama? Then just come over here to Proverbs 8 and let mama speak for herself. Verse 15. Verse 14. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. Power is mine. By me, kings reign and princes decree. Justice by me, princes rule and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. By me, I love them that love me. And those that seek me earnestly shall find me. Riches and honor are with me. Wisdom is the conqueror of fortune, my naga. Yeah. Enduring riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold. Yeah, even fine gold. And my produce <laughs> than choice silver. I walk in the way of righteousness in the midst of the path of righteousness, of justice that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance and that I may fill their treasures. The father made me as the beginning of his way. What does it mean? Are we lost in translation? What does it really say in the original text? I would love to know. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to know the original translation of Proverbs 8 22. Anyone got some OG? Man, please, man, just drop the drop, man. <laughs> In the drop, drop, chatter. Chat to chat, chat. Wow. <laughs> it says, The Lord, nah, the Father, made me as the beginning of His way. So even if we just read it verbatim right off the page, I mean, you know, according to Proverbs 8, wow. the father made the mother as the very beginning of his way. Which is why Solomon is praying to the father to get Amma. And I take that as order until proven <laughs> otherwise, you know. When I pray, I pray directly to Abba. I pray to Abba. You know, we pray to Abba. Wow. Um, you know what I'm saying? To give us, you know, more of that, that water, that mem sauce. <laughs> you know, to give us more mama. But, you know, mama speaks to us all the time directly. You know, we always have, you know, direct flow. You know what I mean? You know, but, um, you know, we definitely give our shaper, you know, which is the vibe, which is the sound, which is the frequency. We give our shaper that respect of knowing that, hey, you made wisdom, you made mama as the very beginning of your way. And then together they popped off everything else together. You know, so when you speak of creator of the earth and all this, mama's right there head in hand popping off you know you got to give her her breath you got to give you know that that revelation this has to be revealed to you man my nagi it's got to be revealed to you my ox my aquas it's, it's got to connect the fullness of the vibe when the frequency connects then it pops off man the father made me as the beginning of his way the first the first the very first of his works of old. What does it mean, man? La wa. I was set up from everlasting. 
from the beginning or ever the earth was. So you don't talk earth without talking mama. And I'm not talking about your earthly mother. I'm talking about mama that gave the ingredients for the entire pie, my night. And <laughs> not just the crust. So, so Pops was like, look, before I could pop anything off, I need to make sure me and mama, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, are, uh, you know, one. You know, I got to be one with mama. I got to be married to mama. So let me make sure I, first day before this house is built that I got my woman. Let me make sure my woman is here. Now, this don't mean that he literally created mama, you know what I'm saying? Or perhaps, you know, he, you know, created a a shape or a, a frequency for mama to, you know what I'm saying, do her thing, you know what I mean? These are the things, you know, that we would love to, you know, meditate on, you know what I mean? However it pops off, man, but, you know, all we know is that after that point, <laughs> everything is created. Everything else is created. That's the order. So how do you skip over mama, who's the very first of his works, and then you just got love for JC? You just got love for that, for this. You just got love for that. And we bring up mama and give mama, you know, that breath back. That direct breath back. Because without mama, there is no breath. Before there was breath, my nine, mama's created. <laughs> you did. Before the earth, mama's created. Verse 23 I was set up from everlasting from the beginning or before ever the earth was. And when there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains abounding with water, before the water, my night, was mama. Mama is the water. <laughs> before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth, while as yet he had not made the earth. Before the earth, nor the fields, nor the beginning of the dust of the world. When he established the heavens, I beat it out, right? With my right hand, Raqqa. When he established the heavens, I was there. When he set a circle upon the face of the earth, not a ball, not a sphere, a circle. My <laughs> it's a big difference between a circle and a ball, right? <laughs> when he set a circle upon the face of the deep when he made firm the skies above I met it out I beat it out when the fountains of the deep showed their might when he gave to the sea his decree that the water should not transgress his commandment when he appointed the, fo the foundation of the earth then I was by him as a nursling and I was daily all delight. Mama said, look, I was nursing, <laughs> you know, Papa. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was his nurse, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whatever he, you know, you know what I'm, you know what I mean? Like, it, look, it's one and the same thing. <laughs> You're talking about a house, a forever marriage, and a, a never separation. You can't separate Mama and Daddy, man. Once mama's created, once mama's popping off, once she's in the atmosphere, it's big mama time. You know what I'm saying? Big mama season. She ain't feeling you. You ain't you ain't going to get far. You ain't going to get very far. <laughs> you know, mama's always been one with her wife. Let's get this for the dismount. Surfing away, man. Enjoying the meditation. When, you know, Hosea 3 says, seek Hawa, this is what we're doing. You're seeking your father, but you also got to seek your mother. Because they're one and the same. It's all together now. It's nothing, that, it's no separation, man. She says, verse 30, then I was by him as a nursling, and I was daily all delight, playing always before him. I'm not, come on, man. Playing always before him. Let's slow down. Ain't no time. Only to wave my noggin. Meditate on your mama. Playing always before your father. 
I'm reading Proverbs chapter 8, verse 30, my name. <laughs> we pop it up. Meditate on Big Mama. Delighting your father, man. And your father being delighted in your mama. That she's the first thing created by him. She's who he needs. She's who he needed to pop it all off. When he, you know, created the expanse of the sky, met it out the firmament, she says, I was there, man, watching Big Daddy do his thizzle. I was there when he wrote that circle, man, showing uh, the boundaries. I was there when he made the boundaries, man. I was by him as a nursling and I was daily all delight. Playing always before him. Playing in his habit, habitable earth. Playing in his habitable earth. And my delights are with the sons of men. And the daughters. Don't forget the aqua. You know, this is translation. It's translation. <laughs> we don't forget the aqua. Mama's delights. You know, so when you get back in Genesis and created male and female, he created wow. them. They they were created in in their image you know what i'm saying i mean now we see male and female created in their image the image of the framer and the image of the shaper hit the easy button bread it's that simple no cap on my number two pencil then i was by him as a nursling i was daily all delight playing always before him playing in his habitable habitable earth <laughs> And my delights are with the sons of men. Now, therefore, you children, hearken unto me. By listening to your mama, you're not listening to a false god. By listening to your mama, you're not listening to a strange deity. <laughs> By listening to your mama, you're not listening to some other power before your power. When you listen to your mama, you are listening to your father. Because your mama's walking in his ways. It's mama. Mama's putting down that law. It's her law. With wisdom of Solomon, she calls it my laws. These are my laws. This is my Torah. What's the separation between mama and the Torah? The code is mama. We say keep the code. You better keep your mama. You better keep her instructions. Is that a foreign deity? Or is that your big mama? You already got her. I don't have to bring I don't have to bring her to you. If you already got her. Drop ain't bringing you no foreign entity if you already got mama. But if mama's foreign to you, then you better say all praise to Hawa. That you sent any messengers down here to bring us to mama again. You treat mama like a stranger, she'll treat you like a stranger. And you'll be without wisdom, without understanding. <laughs> You're going to drop yourself off, man. Hey, don't hijack your own vibration. Like the Templars say, you got to empty your cup. And some of you Nagas, you need a brand new cup. <laughs> some Nagas, they don't hold a new cup. But you know, it ain't about the cup. It's about being water. But to my big bro Judah, the great Jedi. It's about being the water. For happy are they that keep my ways. She didn't say your father's ways. 
That's not what's being translated here, my nigga. And they got every reason to make this my your your father's ways. They got they got every reason to change this into your father. <laughs> but they just can't deny that these are mama's instructions. And mama always delights your father, your Abba. In verse 30, and I was daily all delight. I was by him as a nursing. Playing, playing always before him. What does that look like? When mama plays with Abba. Mama delights in us. Mama is delighted in joy work that a group of Nagas could come together for the same purpose. To keep the code. Hey, for happy are they that keep my ways, says Ama. Hear instruction, verse 33, and, and be wise. You want to be wise? Sister, you think you're wise, but you don't got mama? Everybody think they got mom. Everybody remember arrogancy. Let's just say the top. You know, being arrogant, it's really arrogant to just assume you got mom. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, verse 13, the fear of your father is to hate evil. Pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. You think you got mama, but you got all this pride. Mama hates that, man. It's an abomination to even say you got mama with all that pride. Oh, you think you got mama, but you so arrogant. I ain't talking confidence. We know the difference between the confidence and arrogance. No one can teach you nothing. You don't ever want to empty your cup. You don't want to get a new cup. <laughs> you don't want to be the water. The evil way is outside of the cold. That's the evil way. And the forward mouth, they just popping off, you know, spreading all kind of rumors and lies and, and bearing false witness. Mama hates that. But you got, you got wisdom. Kind. Verse 32, and now therefore, children, listen to me, for happy are they that keep my ways, hear instruction, and be wise, and refuse it not. Happy is the man, happy is the, the sister that hearkens to me, watching daily at my gates. No, that's a false entity, drop. Can't watch at her gates. That's another power before your power. What does Hawa say about the wise man and you know how you should be constantly at the wise man's door? You know, those that are really seeking wisdom. That's Ama. You should be constantly at her door the same way it tells you to be at the wise man's door. Because that wisdom is Ama. I ain't introducing you to nothing new. I'm shaking out the cobwebs. I'm shaking off the veil so you can see Mama in all her glory and all her splendor as she delights Hawa, as she plays before Hawa. And ask you to keep her ways and listen to her instruction. Hear instruction, verse 33, and be wise. Refuse it not. Happy is the man. Happy is the woman that hearkens, that listens to me. Watching daily at my gates. Waiting at the post of my doors. For whoso finds me, finds life. <gasps> Wow! Existence, breath, and security. And obtains favor of your father. <laughs> you find me, you're going to gain favor to your father. 
Because I'm going to make sure he's listening to you. Verse 36. But he that missed me. <laughs> if you miss me. You wrong your own soul. And they that hate me love death. If you hate anybody that mama is rocking with, that mama loves, <laughs> you must love death, man. We might not say everything that you want to hear. We not, might not be perfect in the way that mama's still framing us. You know, we still are being perfected. We still are being framed in shape. But listen to the message, man. It ain't about the messenger. We didn't come here for your glory. We didn't come here for you to get it. We're doing what we got to do. Wow. We are the floor plan. We are Drop Nation. What's King Solomon praying about? Wisdom. <laughs> Understanding. Discernment. Can we simplify that? Wow. Proverbs chapter 4. Lego. Hey, hop to the real. Shalom. You know, to all of Nagaville listening in. Digging on the flow we got. The ingredients that's being put together. This is not one man's vision. This is mama. The frequency. Proverbs chapter 4. Hear you children. The instruction of a father. Okay. Okay. We just heard it from mama. Mama leads us to say. What was King Solomon saying? We go check on these words and immediately you know that the father speaks. When mama's speaking, she lets it be known. She don't talk often. At least we don't have all them have all them words. Maybe they're hiding those those extra words from mama. Maybe they're underneath the Vatican somewhere. <laughs> you know, in the Smithsonian somewhere. But it's beautiful, you know, to see mama saying these are my instructions and then coming right over here and saying here you children the instructions of a father frame a shaper allow Wallace go and attend to know attend to know understanding whoa so now that we man we breaking the code drop nation we cracking the code y'all thought you read this before we thought we read it before but there's a code going on there's understanding popping up. Mama has revelation for those that she loves. I'm not saying my personality grants me love from my mama. I'm saying the code I keep grants me love for my mama. That's it. That's how you show love. Love is a frequency. It's an action. Hear you children the instructions of a father and attend to know understanding what does it mean if understanding is mama mama just said I am understanding Proverbs 8 so should we read it here you children the instructions of a father and attend to know your mama know your framer know your shaper for I give you good doctrine. Forsake you not my teaching. For I was a son unto my father. Tender and an only one in the sight of my mother. And he taught me and said unto me, Let thy heart hold fast my words. Keep my commandments and live. Get wisdom. Get understanding. You know, so we came over here to dig on Solomon's prayer. 
And immediately he instructs us to know that we are dealing with an instruction of a father. But we just got in Proverbs 8 that it's mama's instructions. <laughs> and attend to no understanding. We know we're talking mama. For I give you good doctrine. Letting us know that this is coming from the framer's shape. Forsake you not my teaching. For I was a son unto my father. Who is that? Die we. Let's go. Tender and an only one in the sight of my mother. And he taught me and said unto me, Let your heart hold fast my words. Keep my commandments and live. Get wisdom. Get mama. Get understanding. Get mama. That's all that we, that we, David is telling Solomon. Make sure you get mama. Get wisdom, get understanding, forget not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not. How do you forsake mama? You already got it. <laughs> You're not keeping that code. You're not listening to her instructions. She's telling you to hearken. To be at her gates in Proverbs 8, verse 6, Proverbs 4, forsake her not, and she will preserve you. You want to be preserved? You want to find the youth? I'm just talking Dawi. Love her, and she will keep you. Whoa. What does it mean when mama keeps you? Keeps you what? Moses' body was left unabated. In Deuteronomy. He was kept. His life force was never abandoned. Man. Mama keeps your life force. Your breath. <laughs> Love her and she will keep you. Verse 7. The beginning of wisdom. The beginning of mama. Is. Get wisdom. Yea. With all your understanding. Get understanding. So the beginning of wisdom is to get wisdom. <laughs> Translations, man. You know what I mean? I, we all want the original so we can translate for ourselves, man. Extol her and she will extol, exalt you. You lift mama up, she will lift you up. Why do we give mama props? Because one, mama's mama's mama. But we know that in code, mama, you know what I'm saying, it's going to... Make sure we got that breath. Same thing Solomon's asking for. That's not bringing a foreign deity to your father. <laughs> That's exalt, extol her. Proverbs 4 chapter or verse 8. Extol her and she will exalt you. We extol our father all the time. We, we, you know, give all these praises to our father. The issue is that we call another daddy, daddy. So in Christianity, all these things, we're calling another father, father, right? We even, we're either even calling the Pope's father. We're calling them father. Father this, father that. We're giving the father away. Mama is understanding. Yea, with all your getting, get understanding. Extol her and she will exalt you. We're asked to extol her. What does it mean to extol, man? <laughs> Love the Aqua Tai Battle. This is for you. We're going to 1828 for the dismount. 1828. Hey, this is a, a nice journey into our Tanakh only session. Extol, my naga. Let's go. Extol is to raise in words or eulogy. To praise. Whoa. Whoa. Body bag. For the illusion. Drop. Don't add no female deity next to our father who should be all alone according to our Christian teachings. Drop. You're extolling mama too much. Drop. He's talking ama abba. Praise, allow, means praise. Ama, to exalt, extol, wow. to raise in words, to praise. 
You're not praising a foreign entity. <laughs> You're praising that which is worthy of praise, which is your framer who gives you all the ingredients, all the wisdom, all the understanding. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 8 says to raise in words to praise mama. Wow. Extol her. To exalt in commendation. To magnify. Is it play play? Oh you forgot? You got a mother after all. <laughs> There is no wisdom without Get wisdom, get understanding, forget not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she will preserve you. Love her, and she will keep you. The beginning of wisdom is to get mama. <laughs> yeah, with all your getting, get understanding, get mama, extol her. Praise her and she will exalt you. She will bring you to honor. Drop nation, you want your honor back? You want your kingdom? You want your fortitude? King Solomon's letting you know. Get mama. Praise her. Halawa. You're not asked to praise nothing else but your mama and your daddy. You know to praise your father. You forgot to praise your mother. You forgot they're one in one house. And these are her ways, her laws, her instructions, her Torah, her frequency. That is the sound, the vibration of your shaper, which, was, which is why she delights your father, your Abba, which is why he's delighted in Amma, which is why she can play before him. The only other thing you hear about anybody playing before your father is that Leviathan flow in the book of Job, you know, where, you know, can you put a hook in his mouth and pretty much can you play with this big old Leviathan dragon like I can? <laughs> is what your father's saying. That, that's his play thing. But, you know, mama is his original <laughs> play thing, pop off. And you are to extol her. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 8. Extol her and she will exalt you. She will bring you to honor when you do when you when you do is embrace her. So when you embrace mom, when you honor her, she honors you. She exalts you. Don't be jealous when Nagas get exalted with being lifted up by mama. You go against the exalted ones. You're going against the framer and the shape. You might not like it, but we popping off. You popping off, man. You're going to have to drop that pride. Drop that ego. You're going to have to drop all that covetousness in your heart. Don't want what we got. Be like us. Be like mama. <laughs> Surf the wave. Hear the message. Forget the messenger. Hear the message. To put no power before your power. Your power is your framer and shaper. Extol her. Praise mama. Halawa. Praise Abba. Halawa. We put it back together, man. That's why we popping off. The Christians separated mama. They took her out. <laughs> you don't hear mama talk in all these religions. You don't hear the connection. You, you forgot the ingredients. It's blasphemy. We put mama back together again in our consciousness, in our awareness. Extol her. What is extol? To raise in words, to praise, to exalt, to magnify, magnify her, magnify Amma. Magnify Amma. Gotta let you know because you forgot. You might think she's a foreign deity. You might think she's some little goddess. 
little queen mother in their celestial heaven. They praise their Isises and their this and this and all their Egyptian, Atlantean female goddesses, but man, they forgot about mama. This ain't no knockoff mama. This is who you're supposed to praise, who you're supposed to extol, and who you're supposed to magnify, according to Proverbs chapter 4, verse 8. She will give to thy head a chaplet of grace, a crown. You want that 432? You want that? <laughs> you want that amethyst flow? You want that crown? Remember Solomon's table made of amethyst? You want that crown frequency? A crown of glory will she bestow on you. Hear, O oh my son, and receive my sayings. And the years of your life shall be many. I have taught you in the way of wisdom. Mama, I have led you in paths of uprightness. When you go, your steps shall not be straightened. And if thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Bang. Mama said in Proverbs 8, it's my instruction. David is telling Solomon, take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. He didn't say let him not go. But you just see your father. You just extol your father. Do you even see your real father? Is that really your daddy? Or are you looking at a hijack? You vibing with a hijack? Did you break through the barrier, my naga? Is you nine above? Let her not go. You clinging on your hawasha? <laughs> what about mama? What about wisdom? Let her not go. You think your father is clinging closer to your Yahawashai than his, his woman that he created first, according to Proverbs 8? You think he's hanging closer to Yahawashai than his woman? Oh, you thought he was all alone? You thought you could replace her? All power's been given to me, Matthew 28, Hijack City. Zeus want the power. Yeah. Hell Zeus. Hey Zeus. Is Zeus want the power now? What happened to mama? Where's her power? Mama is power. Mama says in Proverbs 8, power is mine. I have taught you in the way of wisdom. I have led you in paths of upright. When you goest, thy steps shall not be straightened. And if thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her, for she is your life. Whoa. Keep mama, because she is your life. That pleases your Abba, because she delights your Abba. Wow. She is your life. Hoppa. Breath of security. Enter not into the path of the wicked and walk not in the way of evil men. Avoid it. Pass not by it. Turn from it. Managa. Watch your company. Watch your six. Turn from it and pass on, for they sleep not, verse 16, except that they have done evil. Some people don't sleep until they do evil, man. And their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. And they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the righteous is as the light of dawn. That shines more and more into the perfect day. The way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. 
my son, attend my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thy heart, for they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Above all, that thou guards, guardest, keep thy heart. Above everything you guard, keep your heart, man. Keep your heart bone. For out of it are the issues of life. Hey, I'm not saying it. <laughs> you want to know what to keep over everything? Some would say keep your mind, man. Mama, <laughs> hey, it's all right here, man. It's all about that heart bone, man. <laughs> Above all that you guard, keep your heart, for out of it are the issues of life. That's your frequency. That's your foundation. You know, your heart got a mind of its own, you know. <laughs> Put away from thee a forward mouth and perverse lips. Put far from thee. Let your eyes look right on and let your eyelids look straight before you. Make plain the path of your feet and let all your ways be established. Turn not to the right hand nor to the left. You ain't got to turn left and right, my naga. Not when the ball is right out in front. The ball's right out in front. All you got to do is swing. Swing, batter, batter, swing. Home run, my Naga, every time in Nagaville Stadium. All you got to do is swing the bat. You got to turn to the left and turn to the right to look over here and look over here and dabble in this and dabble in that. You already got the drop. You KTC, that's the drop. You want books? You want to go on a fantastic voyage? You want some cities of gold? <laughs> yeah, that's a victory lap, but... We hit our mark, man. We got the Nagas to keep the code. We got the Nagas to flow with the code, to be the code, to be water. Because that water is your mem sauce. And that mem sauce is mama. And mama was there before the water. Make plain the path of your feet. Know where you're walking, my Naga. And let all your ways be established. In cold, my nun, and turn not to the right hand nor to the left. Hey, the ball's right out in front, my nun. Remove your foot from evil. That means you're walking in cold with Hawaii, step to step, shoulder to shoulder with the tribe. We're tribing up, we're vibing up. Hey, the vibe is right. The vibe is right I appreciate every one of my noggins keeping this cold that's breaking the spell and it's not hard to keep to rest on the Shabbat it's easy to not call on no other energy but keep your frame and shaper in mind above all things to guard your heart don't let these other hijacks in your heart bone Hawa Om I love you my knock it's true hey hi you know for who you are. You are the floor plan. <laughs> you are the ingredients. And we KTC. We are Ama. And we are Aba. We are collectively our savior. Because you save yourself by keeping the code. By keeping the code, you have life. 
Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her. For she is your life. Allah Shalom. Shabbat. Keep surfing away. Keep choosing up. We hear what you hear for you. One try. One vibe. One drop nation. For Nagaville. For Joy World. All praise. Our most high power. Ancient head of day. Our secure breath for us. Ama, we love you. Ama, eha. Aba, eha. Feels great to be back. Seeing clear with my tribe, tribe. Shalom, Khan. Keep the water flowing. Keep the fire burning. Keep that fire burning, man. We're going to burn him down. We're going to burn this hijack city with this frequency, man. We're going to spread this vibe. We ain't going to stop. The spiral continues. It's the best. It's the best we got. The best frequency we can connect to and with is our creator. We do that. We connect directly with each other. We know there's no separation. Because like the bro natural say, you meet the tribe, it's all frequency. Well, come here with your hijack. Hey, dodge your own hijack with the aqua say. <laughs> hey, shout out to the battle. Shout out aqua Sam and Aki CJ about to pop off. The beautiful, you know, uh, <laughs> this Baat, this Baat is a house. You know, and uh, we know that it means a lot, you know, to have a bot. Wow. <laughs> it means a lot to have a bot. So congratulations, you know, congrats to the cons, to the beautiful daughter. Give them great Baruch, you know, give great, uh, you know, excellent frequency towards the family, the whole battle family with all they have to do, all the travels they got to do. You know what I mean? Just just pray for them and just, you know, make sure the AHOP is real and, uh, you know, make sure the water's flowing. Wow. If you want to know how to support, you know, CJ and support the family, Aqua Sam, if you don't know already, just email us and we'll make sure we get that uh, you know, water flowing, you know what I mean? So hit us up, music at 432thedrop.com, music at 432thedrop.com, right after Shabbat. And uh, make sure you are sending some AHA, you know, to the bro, CJ and the Aqua Sam and the Battle family, you know, showering them, you know, with that Baruch as they welcome a brand new edition, a brand new con popping on. AHA to the rivers, the water for all the, you know, great, uh, you know, treasure you give us, you know, every single night, every single day. It's a treasure to be in this frequency with you. It's all honors. Shabbat Shalom.